subscribe to my channel, welcome. Right, really quick one today. I know I always start my video saying it's going to be a quick one, but this really will be a quick one because I wasn't meant to be making a video today, but this is just so quick and easy to make, I can't resist it. So um, today I wanted to freshen up all my skull rings and then take new photos and get them listed online again. Um, so I've just given a quick polish. I'm really enjoying this polish. My last video, check it out, I was testing out these Japanese polishes. They just work so well. I like them even more now. I've got a bit more experience using them. Um, anyway, so I just freshened up these skull rings. I'm about to ultrasonic them. Um, I've got some ammonia. So I want to show the difference between ultrasonic in without ammonia in your solution and then with ammonia in your solution. Uh, gives it a bit of extra kick when you put this in. So I think we'll be able to see the clouds of uh, polish coming off the rings when I put them in there. Um, so with seeing that difference, you'll be able to see for yourself that ammonia gives it a lot more power. Right, I just realized the water was really dirty inside, so I'm changing the water. I'm boiling the kettle to get it hot as quickly as possible. So while I'm waiting for that, I'll just give you a Brucey bonus top tip. Get a rag, a bit of spray oil. You can wipe it down, it'll clean it, and it gives it a sort of shiny, slippery surface to it. I mean, it'll look cleaner, but it'll also stay cleaner, easier. That any dirt that goes on it next time will just wipe off really easily. So just a very light layer of oil will help it look nice and sort of protect the surface a little bit as well. If it's not having like dirt sticking to it, it's less likely to start getting corroding and stuff. I mean, this was a really cheap one, but still, I tried to look after it. Um, works really well. This is just off Amazon, yeah. Uh, cost about 100 pounds, 90 pounds something. Um, not super high quality, but the power of it is quite good and it's just a bit slow to heat up. So this is just a bit of wood. I bought this sticky heat proof um, sheet off AliExpress. It's like a fiver for a big one meter sheet of gold sticky back foil stuff. Just put that on top, warms up a bit quicker. So there you go. Top tips for you. Right, kettle's boiling now. Sort it out. Right, I'm really struggling not to turn this into a proper long video. I've just got loads of stuff to talk about, polishing and ultrasonic and stuff, but I'll put a card on the screen uh, to link to a video I did ages ago about ultrasonic in. It was like a top tips ultrasonic in special. Yeah, I mentioned loads of stuff in that one, but I just want to say now, you've got to be careful with some gemstones here. They don't like hot ultrasonic in. You can damage the stones, especially if they've just been set. There might be stress, uneven stresses on them, pushed down more one side than the other and then you suddenly shock the stone by chucking it in a really hot ultrasonic, you can damage them. Green tourmalines, no. What's that? Uh, Specitite garnet, usually all right, but be careful. Rubies, I don't think they're a problem. Uh, fire opals, be very careful. Aquamarines, you've got to be careful. Those are yellow tourmalines, careful. Any tourmalines, just be careful with them. Um, I mean, you could, they'd be all right. I'd just put them in there. I think they'd be all right with these but gemstones don't like sudden temperature change. So don't just suddenly drop it in a really hot ultrasonic, uh, but you'll be all right if it's cooled down a bit and you put it in, let it heat up a bit. Where it's a bit of, um, where it's a bit of sort of figuring out what's best, ultrasonics work more effectively when the water's hotter. So ideally you want it as hot as possible, but you don't want to risk damaging stones. So one trick you could do is put it in slightly cooler, put, top it up with cool water, uh, and let it warm up a little bit and then it's a bit safer for the gemstones. But then also don't just take it quickly out of the ultrasonic and then wash it off under a cold water tap because that's also a sudden temperature change shock. So you can, <laughs> you might take out the ultrasonic, don't go to all this care to ultrasonic it carefully and then you damage a stone by quickly washing it in really freezing cold water at the tap. So yeah, be careful with some gemstones. Double especially if they're expensive, triple especially if they're expensive and belong to a customer. So uh, yeah, be careful with what you're ultrasonic in. So with all that in mind, I want to treat the other ones a bit more carefully. So I've got my ruby one and then one with no stone set in it. I repolished them the old school way with Tripoli grease and with rouge. Uh, yeah, after polishing this lot with my new polishes, uh, really nice to use and really quick and easy and clean. Just gone back to these really old fashioned greasy polishes now. So definite improvement. Keep going about those new polishes, but I'm really impressed with how much better they are. So yeah, the rouge, Certainly the last time I'll, I'll use it. It's horrible to use compared to that blue stuff. Anyway, so these are all loaded up with polish lut inside. All these crevices and stuff are all full of uh, Tripoli grease, I guess, more than the rouge. Uh, yeah, so let's dunk one in no ammonia and then dunk another one in with ammonia and you'll be able to see the clouds of polish coming out of the water. 
So this is what the video is about. I just, no fancy equipment, just a plastic coated paper clip. Works brilliant for hanging jewelry on. So this is set 60 degrees temperature, turn it on. So all I'm gonna, all I'm gonna do is just watch the cloud come off it. See that? This is no ammonia. It's still quite effective, yeah? That's, that's not finished, but I will now do the, add some ammonia and then do the next one. Ammonia. It does stink, so be careful using this in your house. Have a bit of ventilation. Oh, even just taking a lid off, it stinks. All right, that was quite a lot. So this uh, water should kick off this polish a bit more potently now. <laughs> I, mean, I don't know if that showed on camera, but. I can see it did a bit more. It wasn't massively dramatic, but it did come out quicker. Oh, there you go. That's completely done. Yeah, there you go. Completely shifted it really quick. <laughs> I actually think this one was more loaded up with polish. It could come off. So that one was in there longer, still a bit clogged up inside. Yeah, a bit more coming out. Right, so not a dramatic video, <laughs> no fireworks as I say, but definitely with ammonia that cleared out really quick. So yeah, ultrasonics, they definitely improve their ability to clean jewellery when they're loaded up with ammonia, but if you don't want to use it, totally understand, it does smell quite bad, some people just can't stand the smell, sometimes you just don't want that smell in your house. You don't want that smell in your jewelry shop totally understandable but it does help you out sometimes maybe keep some for particularly stubborn uh, piece of jewelry that just won't clean out even no matter how long you leave it in there uh, some people's jewelry is just disgusting like it's all clogged up hasn't been cleaned in decades literally uh, so if you can give your ultrasonic a bit more of a, a kick uh, it can help you out or maybe you just got a low powered one it doesn't really do its job very well you can help improve its ability with just adding a bit of ammonia so mm -hmm. kind of Instead of buying an expensive one, buy a cheap one, use ammonia. <laughs> Might be a bit of a hack to actually get a good cleaner. Uh, right, cool, that was it. Uh, random video. Uh, didn't actually plan to make one today, but I did. Uh, if you want to help me out, you can subscribe, click like, you can share the video, you can click the notification bell, you can become a Dynamat member, or you can become a Dynamat patron. There's loads of ways to help me out. Or you can just watch and enjoy, whatever. Whatever, everybody's welcome. So, cool, right, see you on the next upload. Bye.